I can see that one change, turn into a hit, too. That'd be a four-hit day. I know he's not plenty happy with three, but, uh, you know, hit another ball hard, tough play on a pitcher. But um, just really doing a nice job. You know, another one of the plays will probably get lost in this game is that double play. That ball smoked at him, somehow finds glove on it. And then the contact play later, too. Terrific jump at third. He just had an overall good stolen base there, too, leading a double steal. I just thought it was a, a very good day for Whip. Talked a lot yesterday, just about relying on this track record, knowing that things will turn. Um, when it does turn, I mean, how big of a sigh of relief is it? Um, yeah, it's that's certainly that's a sigh of relief, and it's also you, you feel that through the through the whole dugout, through the whole clubhouse. The guys, they know the kind of hitter he is. They know the kind of player, and you just want to see guys do what they have proven that they do. It's not dreaming, and um, he's. Um, He's done a good job as handling it as well as you can. You know, we talk about the, the consistency is what causes longevity, and the consistent approach that he's had for a long time has allowed him to have success as long as he's had it. And there's there's more ahead. Could probably talk about all the pitchers, but the Spire gave the start, and then yeah. Joel Pines right behind him. Yeah. How, how nice was that? So impressive, right? You throw guys into uncomfortable situations or situations they haven't been in before, and. You just uh, watch and see how they respond, and they couldn't respond any better as far as Gabe coming in here, getting late notice, um, going out and uh, not changing anything, just doing what he's been doing, um, setting the tone for us. And you know, we didn't really know how much we are going to get out of Joel. Um, you know, he only had two days off and threw quite a bit before that in Baltimore. Um, but he just responded. He was efficient, got swing and miss, um, and then handed it off to the, the guys to do the rest. It was a really, really good effort by all of them. Talked about Gabe uh, and his improvements this season. Is he um, kind of like a low heartbeat guy? We've talked about some of those relievers. Do you see a change in him with any with any mindset? No, I haven't seen it. Uh, you know, we continue to put him in different situations, and he looks the same all the time. And um, he's um, he just keeps getting better every opportunity we give him. And don't let me go through that pen without talking about Scott Barlow right there too. I mean, what a what a game changer that is to come in in that situation. To, you know, Taylor did a great job in seventh, gets in trouble, and Scott comes in in just a couple pitches and um, gets him out, and then that's a huge momentum swing right there. But um, once again, started with, with Gabe at the top, giving us a chance right from the beginning. Overall, just to see a bunch of guys contribute offensively, how good was that? Just you know? Yeah, and even some hard hit outs. And I mean, just uh, one of those games, you just you see new, new guys kind of getting that feel. That's what we've talked about. We've got multiple guys getting to a good spot, um, feeling confident, and that confidence is just so big. Um, and there, there's reason to have some confidence right now. That was a, that was a good offensive day. So Chris won up several times, but once Emmanuel comes through um, with the triple, uh, is that a good spot for Chris to be in? Apparently. Uh, you know, I'd, we thought he might come in earlier. Um, just wanted to watch and see how things went. And um, you know, it's it's hard pulling a guy that can close a game out for you. Um, but you know, when we were able to get the eighth run across, give him a little room, let him pitch. Um, he needs to pitch, and so uh, he came in, did a nice job. He gave up the home run after that. I mean, man, got to burn his saddle. I mean, all of a sudden we're seeing 97 on the board, and he uh, he's, he's this guy's this guy's not even begun to tap into what he can do. Um, but he did a nice job pulling it together there in the end. I know we've talked a lot about um, Bobby, but um, for him to have a you know a big hit uh, here, I think it's I think it's his father's birthday too. Just a good day for him to have a day like that. Yeah. You know, it's always tough playing in front of your family and friends. I mean, when you come home for the first time, especially for any player, let alone one that's been talked about so much in the whole area, the region knows about about him. And uh, to be able to come through in a big situation, we needed those runs bad. And um, to come through, and he's uh, he's been taking some good swings. I know he's not getting the production that he wants right now, but it's going to come.